And I'm back. Anti-chamber, depress the ore, you get the gist. Alright, so we're now... We got our cubes, and... You guys didn't really miss anything. Like, literally, I just cut the video and started again. Because I don't want to... If... I can't exit the game, because if I do, I have to restart... I have to redo everything if I do that. Alright. This thing's actually kind of weird. It's not... It's not really difficult, it's just kind of annoying. Oh, never mind, it's not that difficult. You can... Sometimes in this cross shape, it can be difficult to deal with, because it'll pull... You might pull it onto one switch, and I'll pull it off the other, and so forth. Alright, and now we can just... Oh, by the way, I can open all these doors now. Every journey comes to an end. I'm kind of just opening all the doors because I can. And here we are. So, what shall we do with this black cube? just, we have the black cube. It doesn't really shoot very well, and it doesn't really do anything besides be black and evil. You can jump, you can try jumping on it, though it doesn't really act as a platform. And look at where we are now. Crazy, huh? And the only thing that seems to be different from everything else is that giant black sphere. the black sphere there and there and there. This is actually a looping world, so you, no matter how much you wander around, you're not going to get anywhere. Now what we can do is, if you look, there's a little disc there. And since everything loops, you just fall down. And you're here now. Sorry if the music is a little loud. But it's not like my words can describe what's happening. This is just the same tower as the other one. So what we gotta do is make our way this way. Um, these There are holes in this platform, so if you fall through, you will fall. Um, there's no dying or anything, you'll just keep falling until you land on something. Like here. Jump. Alright. Made it. There we go. So with this, uh, we can keep falling until we land on that thing. And that's what I'm gonna do.
Well, wonder if it fits. can't take the cube back, by the way. Hmm? Oh. Uh, just something to note. Game's gonna close once I beat this. And there you go. We just beat Ante Chamber without even getting everything. Sorry if you saw heard a little cut in the video. I just made sure to uh, clip it just in case it does cut off on me. Because if it cuts off, it's going to mess up the Fraps video. So what I'm going to be doing, um, like I said, this is a fun game. Um, it's a, it takes a lot longer if you don't know what you're doing. As I was saying, sorry, the, um, yeah, the moment it had a... Uh, that it said in your chamber, it pretty much cut, the game just kicks you out. So I went ahead and restarted, and yeah, uh, we do have all the parts here. We can go back to any part we want. We can even go right to the end if we ever want to. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's an interesting game. It does take a little bit longer if you don't know uh, all the tricks already. And uh, yeah, there's a few things I still want to do. There's still a lot of rooms we haven't been to. Um, the main thing is we haven't gotten the final gun yet, and I want to show off the gun and how broken it is. So, uh, yeah. Just seeing what we got here. Ah, yes, this one. Okay. So, the way this works... We're in that room where we fell down in the middle. Um, this part here, you have to have the uh, final gun to actually solve. You cannot solve it any other way. At least I'm right... Or not. Yeah, you, you can't solve this. Because um, you have no way of getting around. Yeah, you can't do it. You don't have enough cubes to do it without the uh, final gun. So, um, this one on the other hand, you can actually, you can actually make it work. Oddly enough. You can also drag the cubes out if you really want to, not that it's really necessary. All you need to do is get into the middle, so we're just going to do that. Okay, get that. Now... There we go. Now I can just step on through. Pretty sure you can. I guess you can't drag it out of here. Nope, you can't. Okay, that's fine. I can work with that. Because all you have to really do is do this. Oops, and screw it up. You 
can grow a garden anywhere. Yes, you can. Like here. And I th this is the area we've been to before. Yes, we have. We've been here. Awesome. So this is a circle. Now what we can do... Well, let's... Just in case. So I'm gonna be doing the rest of the rooms. Um, I don't remember exactly how I get to the, the red gun. I know what room will lead to it, but I don't remember how I got there. Obviously, you can connect these and keep adding more cubes like that. Like that. And uh, then you can do something like yeah, that. Fill it in. Fill it in some more. And you can keep doing this until you have more than enough cubes to do anything you want with it. Problem solved. And we'll go ahead and take these with us, even though we don't really need them. Ah, this is a trick. If you uh, try to walk out here, you'll fall. So what you need to do... ...is make yourself a bridge. But more than that, you need to make a bridge that you can um, drag with you. here, and you just uh, do that, little by little. You don't want to go too fast or else you'll throw yourself off. There you go, just like that. And then I can look at this. The world is always finding new ways to surprise us. Yep, by being jerks. Oh, I know what this room is. This is not the way I want to go. This is to another freaking uh, Easter egg room. Oh well. Well, I'm already here, so I'll keep going. To be honest, I may go ahead and just let myself fall. Yeah, this room. This room, I've done with the yellow gun. It's not fun. Um, essentially, it's what I did in that the previous room, except it's three-dimensional now. And essentially what you gotta do, uh, what I end up doing is I end up just making, you know, how you can make the square and it fills itself in. I did that to the top, the bottom, the sides, and just kept doing that until eventually it filled it itself in all three dimensions. Which, be careful about doing that, because that can crash your game pretty easily. Anyway, um, just gonna hold this down and we... Okay, we're in this room. Um, this room is kind of a hub, essentially. You got two blocks you can move. One's big, one's small, and essentially allows you to get to places you've not been to yet. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, this thing will respawn as long as you don't ram it into any of the red walls, which are all around us. So you have one cube to work with. You can't take it because you're in yellow field. 
The inside of this is yellow field, and the borders are red, which means they will destroy cubes that go through it, or attempt to go through it. So what we gotta do is you jump up. Jump up. Now, this is a secret up there, and I'm gonna try to get to it. It's not easy to do. Um, you essentially gotta get yourself right about there. Perfect, it worked. Because if you screw it up, you'll ram against the wall and you'll lose the cube. And also, you not only that, you have to do precision jumping. So, it's not fun. So, and I screwed it up because I jumped too far. So, I gotta do it again. Yep, so this is the point where you these are the rooms you should have been, been going through instead of the end room at this point. And I screwed it up. Alright, well. Connecting the pieces can solve a puzzle. So you might be wondering what I'm doing here. I'm just getting myself a whole lot of cubes, and then I'm just gonna drag that off. Drag that off. And we're back in this room. And what we're gonna do here. Inside yellow, walls are red, which means if it touches the walls, you lose the cubes. So what you do is you just kind of clip it every time you move it to avoid a certain doom. Of course, every time I clip it, I'm losing a cube, but that's fine. Because we're already at where we need to be. behind the curtain lets us see how everything works. So... Yeep. One plus... Duh. I don't know what these... I don't know what this room is, but it's just an easter egg. Unfortunately, I don't have a way of getting back. Oh, yes I do. But 
there's no point in me going back at this point because I can't jump up. Alright, so yeah, circle room leads to Easter egg room. Um, do, 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 do. There's also the link to the past room we can mess with if we really want to. But no, I don't want to deal with any of those right now. That's an area we've been to already. Okay, so... We want to go this way, apparently, according to the thingy-majiggy. I failed to jump in um, to get the pink, to go, essentially just get the pink cube. Uh, I'm probably just going to leave it alone. You get the idea. You're supposed to get it up high enough so you can jump on it and then jump, kind of do a run jump off of that thing to get to that little room. Keep going. I suppose if I really want to, I can trace this to uh, that red barrier there. I don't need to. Some obstacles are more stubborn than others. There's another one of those portal rooms. And now we actually can get... Yeah, every time you unlock another one of these floor, uh, this is essentially called climbing the tower. And each of these is like a, a floor of the tower. Um, every time you unlock one, you can backtrack to the previous ones.
that. And then what you do here is do that. And then from here, do that. There we go. So yeah, if you clip the, the cubes and then move them before they can reform, they won't be remain connected. Splitting a problem up may help you find the answer. On floor four now. This takes us back to here. Which I suppose does help us. You can actually skip floors of the tower uh, if you happen to stumble upon the uh, answer already. Yeah, okay. The problem may not be where you're going, but how to get there. Okay, now we're on floor five. And now we're back here. Fantastic. We do have another cube. Um, it is pointing us in the direction where we need to go. So we'll go ahead and just focus on that. I'm not going to worry about the pink cube. You get the idea. The pink cube's just fluff. If I feel like it, I can redo doing it on my own time. But I've already done it once and it was a pain in the butt to do. Because every time you screw up, you have to redo everything. And if you screw up uh, the cube placement, um, I get, if you destroy the cube, you're kind of screwed too. Anyway, we'll just jump on through here. Okay, this room. Okay, yeah, that's solid. Okay. So yeah, we have to get essentially the corner pieces. I did this. 
is, to be honest. Oh, I remember how I did this. You don't have enough cubes to do what you need to do, so... I'll catch you eventually. There we go. So by doing this, I can keep doing this over and over again until I get everything. So if you look through the little windows here, you can kind of see stuff. Anyway, uh, this area, and there's floor 7 right there. As you can guess, this is the trick we did before in that one room, that, that it had no floor. So we're just going to do that real quick. Getting some frame rate issues. That's okay. Uh, and I fell. Okay. Well, I'll go ahead and call this a video then. I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Antichamber. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.